All right, everybody, we're back. I'm Colonel Chubbs. And I am Max. And today, as we bring you entertainment throughout space and time, we're going back to the mighty 80s. 1985, the movie's called Fletch, starring the one and only Chevy Chase when he was at his prime, right? Yeah. They took a, he left Saturday Night Live. He got to this, so let's check it out, and we'll fee, fill you in on all the ins and outs. So here we go in three, two, one. Oh, for God, Don, Don. <laughs> what is this man saying? What is this man doing? What in the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> what is this man's name? My name is Igor Stravinsky. Hi there, I'm uh, Harry S. Truman. Hi. I'm uh, Don Corleone. If him and Ace Ventura they teamed up on a case. Fletch. Yeah. Fletch. Fletch. Yeah, Fletch. He's good at defending himself. He's better tie his shoelaces. Oh. Disguising himself. <laughs> <laughs> and getting himself into trouble. Well, it be Fletch. Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> He's a reporter. There are no tags on these mattresses. Remember He's that was about the thing? to yeah. write the story of a lifetime. Will you kill me? Mm -hmm. Sure. I was talking about him yeah, the other day. This is what he did out the animal. Mm -hmm. There is no, no in woman the movie. he can't charm. Yeah. Can I borrow your towel for a sec? My car just hit a water buffalo. A question he won't ask. You and your wife are currently alive. Yes. I take it. Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. A I didn't realize it was a doctor. It was a doctor. He's famous. 100%. Moon <laughs> River. To get to the truth. Looks like that? you two have a lot Sorry. to talk over. We'll just catch the last 10 minutes of Dynasty. Yeah. Universal Pictures presents Chevy Chase <laughs> as Fletch. My hero. Mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. All right. Now. <clears throat> If Wait, he, isn't she a reporter now? Yeah. And isn't she a reporter in the, in the fly? fly? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you don't know, Chevy Chase was a Saturday Night Live alum from 1976. He is good at slapstick and good at playing off of other people. Uh -huh. You've heard stories in real life where he can play off of people and you can see it in his movies. This is where they gave him a chance, like Beverly Hills Cop for Eddie Murphy. Like, here's a yeah. movie for you. <laughs> I and feel like worked. they probably didn't have like an exact script. They probably let him do his I thing. I believe over the years I heard, like, yeah, he would rewrite some stuff and this guy, but... Well, ad-lib a lot, you know? Like, was, when he's in the characters. Right, you gotta remember, he... Not you, but... He helped write, like, Caddyshack when he was there with Bill Murray. And mm -hmm. him. Like, the ideas and the parties and them. But this is him. He's a P.I., private investigator, and that was, like, a thing. Kind yeah. of a movie trope thing, but... Uh, and his adventures took him around. He was he was gonna get murdered. He said, I don't want to give it away, because we like for y'all to check it out. Or go back if you don't remember it. Because some of these are old, but... I was talking about the, the bad guy. Yeah. The guy from Animal House. Right. But do you remember a movie, it was called Up the Creek? Or... I remember Up the Creek. Yeah, it, it was kind of like Animal House, but there was like a boat race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was him, he was like the main guy. Right. And the uh, the goofy fat guy from Animal House. Clemson. Yeah. <laughs> he was in it. So to kinda, I, I remember know. that, and I just mm -hmm. so... I like that movie, no, it was funny. Goofy, and but... this is one of those movies that nowadays the tropes we talk about started in this age group. Oh, yeah. The 75 to 85 is you get the horror, like cat scare tropes mm -hmm. and those jump scares, comedy. The, uh, and to this day, they still do it a little, but Max can tell you it okay. went like this. You would see a stand up comedian on Johnny Carson or such. You can look that up. Then, if the people <coughs> liked it, Sometimes they would make a whole television show. Mm -hmm. Tim Allen, uh, Ray, everybody loves Raymond. And it was always, you can, their comedy sketch, and if it worked, right. then they put new stuff. Even yeah. like shows from one season, you get it. But uh, this is another one where they took a chance with him. Well, this, and it this is one of the movies, like, you know, we always say, like, airplane, everything's goofy. This movie, it's one of the movies where the whole world is a real world. He's an idiot. He's the only well, thing going yeah. crazy. He, you know, kind of like Ace Ventura. Right. Everything's a normal Again, world, but he's the only thing. Where his comedy crazy. shines is he can make a trip look good. Mm -hmm. And if you if you go back and watch it, uh, it's not a drinking game. Please don't do that. It's dangerous. Every time he... D check out the names he uses. Like, one oh, is yeah. Don Corleone. One's Ed Harley from Harley Day. Like, <laughs> it's funny. He put work into it. Now, there was a sequel. Took place in the South. Do not watch this movie. Yeah. I do not recommend it. Yeah. And not his fault. Nobody, poor Arlie Ermey is in it. It was a terrible script. But in any movie to this day, if they can make a little bit of money, but they should have took that script mm -hmm. and went back to the drawing board maybe a time. But that, let's, Fletch 1, 
It's funny jokes. He, Chevy Chase nails it. You get a, you always had a decent story. So even police academy, it's so goofy, like you said. Mm -hmm. But if the real world is real, there can be a bank robbery and there can be a yeah. this. And the people are ridiculous. Maybe something movie or magical happens where they don't die because it's a movie, right? Wait, we know yeah, that. Yeah. But even in this universe here, we're in the Dude Brother universe for us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this was a perfect movie. I mean, think about who else could do Flesh oh Massage God. Chevy Chase. We were just talking about I mean, you know, other movies could. of his later on. They kept trying to have him be funny on somebody else's jokes and it didn't work. Yeah. That wasn't his fault for Funny Money. And what was the one we were just talking about today? But, um, Chevy Chase? Yeah. We were just talking about what? Uh, dirty work? Oh, dirty work. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that, well, that, he, he did like a cameo. That's true. You know, it wasn't like a lot. Big, he was good in it. Was big good. Trouble was a problem for him because everybody in that movie, they spent so much money where he and the Demi Moore home? go into the... Uh, no, oh. him and Demi Moore go to... Oh, with John Candy. Yeah. Uh, right. And yeah. that was a mess because of all the people. But anyway. Well, because I, I think the problem with that movie was... Funny, though. They could have made it like a better comedy yeah. or make it a little more scary... Both, yeah. But they, they, they didn't have a good balance. Like, like Freddy. It, if it would have been a little more creepier, it would have been good because it was creepy but funny stuff. Or they could have made it a lot more funny, but it was kind of like right in the middle where... It still it, suffered from, it was like, it's still at the end we found out these days, mm -hmm. that was John Candy's baby. And people mm -hmm. kept butting in. Yeah. You know, and that's how it was back then. Like he, again, I, I, I can tell a quick story. There is no greater movie for he and I <clears throat> than The Great Outdoors. Mm -hmm. We love the great outdoors. We love the family putting up with it and la la la. I've seen people in the first watching community go, This is stupid. And I'm like, What do you want? Yeah, I mean, comedy. they have to have a basis of a movie, like as a story for every beeline, but mm -hmm. they'll, they'll let the matrix go. But it's like, Okay, like they were, they're painting a picture, a movie's painting a picture. Right. So let's bring it to this Fletch, 1985. Go watch it if you haven't, and if you have, watch it again. But keep coming back to us as we bring you entertainment throughout space and time. I'm Colonel Chubbs. I'm Max. Until next time, over and out. Later. Greater. Later now or never.